Scott Ainsley here. We're going to take a quick look at a simplified version of Reverend Gary Davis's Death Don't Have No Mercy. And what's great about Gary's playing is he has these great broad brush strokes with his thumb, like you do with a flat pick. And then he tucks little bass runs alternating between his thumb and index finger. Like that in the holes to, to take up some of those strumming beats. But to begin to learn this piece, the best thing to do is to get it up on its feet as quickly as you can and then tuck the details in uh, as you go along. So, so a simplified version of this with mostly strums and one or two bass runs that are kind of non-negotiable in my book are here. And then we'll take a look at some of those licks. So we'll start without the intro, just go straight to the verse. Death don't have no mercy Death don't have no mercy in this land. Better to come to your house, but it won't stay long. Look in the bed, somebody be gone. Death don't have no mercy. Give you time to get ready in this land. Won't give you time to get ready in this land. Oh, this land. Well, it'll come to your house, but it won't stay long. Look in the bed, somebody be gone. Death don't have no mercy. The licks that Gary plays on the low strings, these E minor licks, are they're infinitely variable, and there's uh, they all involve those notes. So and they take up a certain amount of time so they'll fit into the the length of time you've got these strums. Three, four. First beat. So he keeps his beats straightened out. The way one does this alternating right hand technique is to push your thumb a little closer to the fingerboard and your finger back into the, your into your hand. So as you're alternating between your thumb and your index finger on a single string, they're in the same they're in line with each other. So your fingers and your thumb are in line on the same string but they're not sharing the same place on the string, so they're not fighting for dominance. You displace your thumb toward the fingerboard, your finger back in your hand a little bit. And you can see my forearm moving. And in terms of uh, right hand, I'm reaching in my finger to get the string and then getting it out of the way for the downstroke. Now, one of the things you'll notice is these are not square eights. It's not. triplet based stuff. Um, so we're, while we're playing in four, the licks all swing a little bit. Now, there's a thousand of those and they're all really great. So as you're burning up a certain number of beats for that one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, one, one.
this last little lick, he's displaced that note an octave up and jumps to the highest string. So getting the beats together and the, the brushing together will give you a foundation to build on and then you can tuck these licks in as you're inspired to do, understanding that they all take up basically four beats. So you're burning down one measure of strumming, you know, sort of four strum, one, two, three, four. Da 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 da. And you figure out where to start that measure, and then you're off to the races. So that's how it goes. Good luck. Take care. Bye. <laughs> I can't count and play guitar at the same time. <laughs>